Hello, it's Darth Ravage here, seven again. Uh, I was just going to come to you today with uh, something else that really wasn't looking forward to, to getting a hold of and actually starting off. I was looking for Scarlet, and I was looking for new anything new Transformers. Just on the off chance it'd be there. That's how I got ran. I got Blitzwing, and I got a couple other ones like that. But uh, in fact, what I found today, and this is going to be another doer review because I just was not expecting to find these guys and they're just screaming with awesome. Um, I found <laughs> Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow right there next to each other on the shelf along with uh, their casemate, Baroness. And I uh, did not grab Baroness, so just, uh, but I grabbed these two. And uh, I'm still in awe. Like all the weapons and accessories these guys come with. And then it looks like they got some articulation as well to boot. So I'm going to crack these guys open. Probably get a Ziploc baggie for each of them. So I don't get everything lost. And uh, see how cool they really are. Give me just a moment please. So like I was saying I was really geeking when I seen what I saw. These guys being in there. And uh, I got to say I am blown away by... What I found right away. So uh, I got their dog tags out and stood them up, both of me there to kind of just bow to each other before they, they enter this contest on the three inch line. I know it's three and a quarter, but I'm just going to say three inch line just to keep it simple. Or, and right quick, let's just go through and look at how beautifully sculpted these are. And go around the block real quick and just see each side of them and like that's just kind of stiff but he's got some really loose cables there on his stuff his uh, thing will come off underneath his left arm and I hadn't looked to see a storm shadows would I imagine it'll just cut, you can just pull it off over your shoulder there why you'd want to do that is beyond me and like I said, I'm still just tripping that I found it. So I see a little peg there that I to hook stuff up to. And uh, this articulation goes like this, guys. We got all the way around there and out to the side. We have the wrist, el or the, the elbow swivel, and it pivots. And then the wrist, it will go all the way around. And it also goes in and out. So that is awesome articulation for the three inch figures uh, on the legs. We've got feet that will go this far, go back that far. I'm not sure if he's got any lower, like the six inch line there. He's got a full knee. And I'm not sure if that even pivots there. It goes out the side. Got the fan dams. <laughs> I just can't believe I found these guys. I'm just really tripping here. I got all kinds of holsters and stuff I gotta go through here and fill up here in a minute. Let's see. And his has got the traditional and the rear foot pegging system. Now Storm Shadow is a little different because his is in the front of his feet. Which really kind of threw me. I was like, what? It's like it usually always be back in the day. In the rear, but yeah, he's his is in the front of the foot there. So there's that. It's a little offsetting, but okay, different. So he's got all the way around, in and out. He's got the same thing there to elbow, the little swivels. He's got hands that will go all the way around, and also has the mechanism to. Do his wrist in neat poses. <sighs> anyway, uh, waist articulation. That's like the old Joe kind of thing there. Uh, forward, back. Um, he can. Let's take off the pegs. He can get not the full down, down fan down. But uh, right there's the knee, the foot will go that far, come back in that far, 
So yeah, there's these are pretty these are really cool because I don't remember there being ever this much articulation on the original figures to begin with. And uh I really do love the ninjas and it was first time I ever, like I said, found them back in the day when it was roses when I was a kid from Walmart here. It was Sky City, Roses, and a couple other places, Sears, and I never ever found the two of them together on the shelf beside each other ever until the year 2020. So they look really, really good. I'll try to get out here on Storm Shadow's face. Look at the detail on that. That is so sick, man. And uh, I love that cobra symbol there on his chest. Sneak Eyes really didn't say anything, but he always looks sick. He doesn't ever have to talk. This kind of keeps swinging in the wind, so I don't know if it's actually supposed to go that way or that way. But like I said, this whole thing will come off of here. Let me get them all geared up and then we'll do a few more closing thoughts here. Because, I mean, these... It is what it is, but tons of accessories. Give me just a moment. Here quickly is Snake in his arsenal. And what we got here is standard little pistol there. Looking sharp and very realistic. We and these things are so tiny. We have right here another small pistol that's realistic looking with its suppressor and it will fit on. So that looks absolutely sick as it can be. I'm having trouble showing them off because my hands are huge and this is so tiny. That is just sick that this thing will off and on. So there's that. Here is submachine gun with this suppressor. That is sick, guys. Look at that. That looks just. <laughs> just geeking out man we got a ammo bag with some holiness gosh can we not do that holiness thing please no uh, guess some more ordnance there we have two katanas that are silver painted and they look just fantabulous boom and boom oh my goodness guys this is so cool and his Legendary Katana Blade. Just done whole black and just got all the detail there on the hilt and I'm so glad now that I picked them both up. Here we go. We'll get him geared up real quick. Pause him. And real quick there is my sneak eyes all dollied up. I didn't put that in there, but he's got a knife there. It's a suppressor uh, holster for the suppressed and guns there. I kept him with his shuriken shooter right here. <laughs> uh, got his swords on his back there, the knife on there likes to keep on falling off, and I'm no good posing with these dog tags at all. Trying to make it stand up, get a cool pose, and uh, that's as good, as good as I can get it, really, right there. And just an absolutely spectacle of a three-inch uh, Joe figure. So let me get Storm Shadow in the center of the screen here, show off all of his stuff one moment. And here is Storm Shadow with all his uh, goods right here on the table. His little red sash that he has that will go across his body. He has his quiver. I think we've seen this before with even the Renegades uh, version of uh, Storm Shadow. So the short sword and long sword will go into this. Let's do the short sword real quick. It's a silver detail. It will fit down in there, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Hang on. And that longer sword will go right there, just like so. And also in there will go his bow and arrow. And one arrow. And all that will pin on his back. So then uh, we have a couple of thorn shuriken. I don't know how good you can see that there. I mean, just absolutely loaded with detail, with all of the accessories. This fan thing, I think, also came with the Renegades, so there's his fan weapon. Comes with a pair of nunchucks. 
So he's got nunchucks that were all nice and neatly rolled up, but that has unraveled it. And a pair of size. Raphael's weapon of choice is also Storm Shadow's weapon of choice. Which I absolutely love that. Nice paint on the, the butt of that. A couple of smaller items that came with uh, this set was a pair. There's two Thorn Stars inside of there. Just not going to even. And two, two pairs of spikes. And I guess another piece that I just don't care to lose. So I'm just going to leave them taped up inside the package. I'll probably get like a bag, gun bag to keep all his stuff in. All of uh, Sneak Eye stuff in. Give me just a moment more. I'm thinking I might have done something wrong there and not got that red thing to keep connected, but hang on a minute more. Hey guys, I'm gonna finish this off tonight to say I'm absolutely floored that I actually found these guys to begin with. Uh, Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes, which are together there on the shelf at my store. If y'all wanna go take a look at yours, this might be worth a look. Walked right past it, walked right back past it again, almost passed up all together. But glad I didn't because I really do love these two together. And I hope that you guys love it as much as I do. I'm probably going to put, the, like I said, the rest of the accessories in the box back in two separate gallon baggies and keep it separated. And I'll probably glue this thing together because I'm tired of it falling apart. But these things are absolutely awesome to have on your uh, desk space together there. Especially if they ever revisit the vehicles at all. So anyway, that'll be my drawback to the three inch line if they do that route. Hoping they do the six inch route, but we'll see what kind of, kind of happens. Really, really forward by the ammo and weapons here. Love the size here and the backpack. He's just got a lot of extra stuff that I just don't want to lose. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to give these two guys a big yo Joe. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy them as much as I have. Thanks again for watching.